Okay, this is the Jaredale end of Kitty Scourge. I think if you go up that way about another K, I'll get to actually Jaredale itself, maybe two kilometers. I'm not interested in that. We're gonna head back. I'm gonna put you on time warp so you can see what this looks like in super speed. This should be a lot of fun. Let's get going. <laughs> I'm making an assumption that I should stick to the gorge since it's a gorge run. <laughs> Seems to make sense, doesn't it? Rather than deviating off side trails to go out of the gorge. There you go. The legendary bushman skills of Rob Mulicky. Yeah, nah. Oh, now look. That is confusing, isn't it? No, there's my green sign. I'm okay. This must be a swimming hole it's when it rains enough. Huh, or was. It looks a bit abandoned now. Oh, just avoided that little spider. Sorry, love. I need to get you out of the way. Ooh. Good save. Clearly I'm not going fast enough. Ha. I love that screech of the black cockatoos. That to me is like the sound of the Australian bush. I don't know. I've always had a feeling like if they're black cockies, I'd be alright. There they are. Where are we? We're here. Nearly done. Nearly done. Maybe a kilometre left. And uh, for me, I'm at 8.5 kilometres. It means if I was to turn around here and just run home, I'll do my 17 and therefore we'll run 1,000 kilometers per year. Awesome. You can definitely see like, the two ends of the track, the Serpentine end and the Jaredale, this end, the Jaredale end. Once you get close back to civilization, the trail's in much better condition. <sighs> much wider than that. That is the end. I'm guessing. Oh, there's just a little bit more though. Down to the conifer, the smell is amazing. So we're gonna go and change plans. <laughs> Don't you love that? We're gonna go and run Kitty's Gorge. Just like the idea, all one section, it's an out and back. So that means this video will only be the out section. I'm not gonna give you the out and back. Although perhaps on the way back, I might detour via some of these bluffs. We'll see. Well, I like the idea of just being on one trail up through the valley, particularly on a hot day. Means I can put my phone away. That'll give me 14, which is almost precisely what I need. Let's go. Hey, how are you feeling today? Hit me up in the comments down below. I would love to hear from you. Where have you been running? What's new? Oh, I like the idea that this trail is gonna be uphill on the way out and downhill on the way back. Jaredale. It's a nice sounding place, isn't it? Kangaroos everywhere. It's awesome. Authorised oh, access on the walking trail only. Um, yeah, but holy crap. Look at these bush boys. Xantharia. Aren't they extraordinary? They are monstrous. Funny, already 20 degrees, eh? And it's 625, so it's going to be hot. 
perfect right now. <sighs> also, just saying about pace, <laughs> blown out the window. Ah, look, as always, I'll drop the link down below in the description to the run on Strava. Uh, you can check out the ups and downs, take the piss out of me for my bad performance. It's all this scratchy banks here on the side. It's pretty, but scratchy. Yuck. Oh, it's a little waterfall. Just dry. This path would be very, uh, very wet after heavy rain. I mean, obviously, if it's just rain, but I mean, after a little bit of rain, you can see here it's quite dry, but wouldn't take much for it to get boggy. Probably some of those nice falls and pools would be flowing. So, need to be on, a, on the sharp lookout for snakes through here. It's nearly 7 a.m., which means being summertime, it's ideal snake o'clock. Not full heat of the day yet, but enough heat for them to be coming out. And uh, quite remote here. Even though it's only five or six kilometers back to town, I'm carrying an EPIRB today. Deep in this valley, I'm sure I'm off reception here. Well, I'm not sure, I haven't got my phone out. I'm just assuming two snake bite bandages, emergency beacon, phone. Yeah, I gotta come to preps for a remote trail run. Hey, what's the best run you've done this week? Tell me where and why it was great. Oh, Blackberry, even scratchier than fucking Banksia. Urgh. God damn it. Pardon me if you're religious. <laughs> oh, monster kangaroo down there. Western Grey. <laughs> Here's a big boy. I haven't done much, a couple of Ks. You're here. Spencer's Mud Cottage. Not much water left there, is there? 5k's left on this. I'm just feeling my way with these longer runs. Basically haven't run much if I'm honest, over 12 kilometers, 13 k's, haven't really run many big runs bigger than that. Just did 24 a couple of days ago in pursuit of this 1,000 k's for the year target. So, I still don't quite know how to pace myself on it. Uh, now for a 10k run, I know that for me personally, running about 5.15 to 5.30 is a nice gentle pace on the flat. Oh, sorry, on the road flat, you know. It's a bit slower on the trail, of course. If I wanna go for it, you know, 4.15 to 4.30 is pretty good pace for me. But, I don't know, when you're lining up to run 15, 16, 18, 20 kilometers, how do you pace yourself? If you have any tips, hit me up. I mean, don't yet feel like I'm through the anatomical adaptation stage. That's that stage when you first start doing a new sport that your body's like adapting to it. Typically it's fun. Let's get going.
That is Kitty's Gorge, done and dusted. Whatever you're getting up to today, I hope it's a good one. Remember, it is always a beautiful day to go running. Now, 1,000 Ks done for the year. Let's go get coffee. Happy New Year.